Hey everyone, so let's go ahead and jump right into this really simple breakdown of eye makeup and where to begin when it comes to doing eye makeup. So the first thing I do is prime my eyelids so that our eyeshadows stay on a long time and don't crease. And I've been using concealers to do this for the past like six months. Um, I use this one here to conceal and highlight under my eyes so it's going to conceal any discoloration or veins on our eyelids as well. There are actual eyeshadow primers that you can purchase whose job it is to help your eyeshadow stay on a long time but concealers honestly do the exact same thing, a good concealer that is. Um, plus it helps to cover up discoloration like I said so it's going to help your shadow stay put and color correct. The palette I'm going to work from today is this Naked Basics palette, which is the first palette I've ever owned. Um, it's got everything you would need for every day. You know, you've got your light shades, your medium and darker brown, and then a black and like a, a more shimmery highlight shade on the left hand side there. And this is what I'm going to be working from today to show you guys this basic eye makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and take a big fluffy brush and mix the two lightest shades um, excluding the shimmery shade and I'm gonna set the concealer we use to prime our eyelids because setting with a powder helps the eyeshadows that we're gonna put on top of it blend much easier if we were to put eyeshadows on top of like a cream concealer it will skip around it will be hard to blend and putting a powder underneath helps to blend out the shadows I always begin with the transition shade, like the one I'm pointing at right there. You're going to want to use a shade a few shades darker than your skin tone, and this shade is going to go right in your crease and a little bit above, um, as I'm pointing right there, to transition up to your brow bone. We're going to highlight underneath the brow bone with a light color, and we're going to put a darker color in the crease to define it. So what we put down first is the transition color that is going to blend from the darker to the light, and vice versa. It's going to help the eyeshadows to look blended and cohesive. And I'm using a fluffy brush to apply my transition shade because a big fluffy brush is gonna help to diffuse that shadow really well. A denser brush will pack on a lot more color and because we're just transitioning from one shade to another, we don't want a ton of pigmentation. And my technique when applying my transition shade is to start in the outer corner and kind of use windshield wiper motions to work my way in and up. And I throw in some circular um, motions as well as you can see right there to help buff out the color. And I'm kind of fading the color up to transition to that lighter color we're going to place. Now for the lid color, you're going to want to use like a light cream or beige shade, um, a few shades lighter than your skin tone or the same as your skin tone. I'm using a flat shader brush, which is much denser than the fluffy one, to really pack on that lid color. And once I have packed on the color to both lids, I take that fluffy brush and blend those two colors together. Next, I'm taking a small little precise crease brush and taking that darkest brown, and I'm gonna pop that in the outer corner and then start blending it into the crease. Start blending it inward. And as well, I blend a tiny bit onto the eyelid just so that there's not just a stark, straight line across the crease. And I, here I'm showing you the difference between one eye done. You can tell the left eye is much more defined than the right. Then I'm doing the same to the other eye. And then of course, I'm going back in and blending it out. I blend between every single step in this process. And you will find that in the process of blending things out, you'll lose some pigmentation. So what I'm doing here is going back in and re-brightening up that lid color just so that it's as bright as I want it. Then I'm blending again. And here I'm adding a little bit more of that dark brown to my crease just to darken it up. It is all personal preference, but I like mine looking rather natural, but still defined. And then I'm going to go in and highlight my brow bone. And I'm taking the same colors we put on our lids and I am just highlighting right underneath the arch of my brow. I'm dragging a little bit inward as well, but I'm mostly focusing the color right in the arch of my brow. And this is just gonna accentuate that, that arch and really lift it up. The last thing I usually do is highlight my inner corner and I usually take a rather shimmery light shadow and pop it right in the inner tear duct area. 
Um, and this is just gonna make you look alive and awake and healthy. And on that same note, I typically like to take a light eyeliner and pop it in my um, waterline underneath my eyes right there. Um, and this is just gonna make you look even more awake. And now for people with small eyes, this is also really gonna open up your eyes. It's gonna make, essentially, it's gonna make the, the whites of your eyes look larger and that's gonna make your eyes look bigger. And if you have big eyes and you don't wanna do that, then I would skip the white eyeliner and go for a black eyeliner or just leave it how it is. But a black eyeliner or a dark brown eyeliner is gonna you know, close off your eyes and make your eyes look smaller, which is what I'm explaining here. Um, but yeah, so if you have big eyes, try to shrink your eyes in a sense by using a black eyeliner to close it off. And for small eyes, a white eyeliner is really gonna open up your eyes. So here I am just running that white pencil in my waterline, going over it a couple times to get the pigmentation I want. And you can see how that made me look more awake and it really did make my eye look bigger. That right eye looks a lot bigger. <laughs> And for the sake of this beginner tutorial, I'm going to skip top eyeliner and just go straight to curling my lashes in preparation for a mascara. And I'm going to use L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which I do like for volumizing, but it doesn't give you the most length, um, but it will do for the sake of this tutorial. And when that's done, you have just a really basic eye look. And so this is the finished product. It's super simple. Once you get the hang of it, it's gonna take you like two seconds to do. Um, this is what I started out doing. And you know what? It works. I work to school like every single day. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe um, to my channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, whatever you want to do, comment down below any questions you have or let me know if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.